The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Those interactions happen between adjacent chains. Now on the final side of this lecture, uh, I basically have a few diagrams depicting the three-dimensional conformation of all the different level of protein structures we talked about. So we have, for instance, the primary structure shown down here. That's the primary structure right here, which basically uh, refers to all of these, um, of the exact sequence of the particular specific sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide chain. Now, the secondary structure represented by uh, the diagram of an alpha helix, and as well as the diagram of a beta pleated sheet, that refers to the um, three-dimensional folding or conformation, so coiling or folding patterns that result from hydrogen bonding in the backbone of a polypeptide chain. Now, at the tertiary level of organization, uh, which we're talking about being the three-dimensional conformation, we have quite a different number of forces coming together to contribute to the overall shape or geometry of a protein structure. So we have uh, hydrogen bonds, we have ionic bonds, we have disulfide bridges or disulfide bonds, we also have hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions contributing, contributing to that level of structure. Now, at the quaternary level, we have the aggregation of more than one, as you can see, that's one, uh, two, and three, more than one polypeptide chain to form a single functional protein. Now, the forces of interaction that are involved at the tertiary level are the same. The only difference is that they work or they interact between polypeptide chains and not within a polypeptide chain. So those are the four main different levels of protein structure, which will complete a very brief uh, delve or very brief um, look into the different levels of protein structure. I hope this lecture was uh, beneficial. If there's anything you feel uh, you're not yet fully comfortable or familiar with, feel free to go back, uh, review the lecture slides that we have gone over and hopefully gain a better understanding. Now, obviously, a lot of the stuff we talked about here would make a lot more sense if you watched the amino acids lectures, which preceded this particular lecture. So if you are a little lost as far as some of the things I was talking about, especially in regard to the primary level of structure when I'm talking about amino acid sequences, just revisit the lecture of amino acids or on amino acids, and you'll get a much better understanding of the same. So that's it for today. Wish you the best of luck. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next lecture.